What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just ordered myself this beverage tub with rolling cart and tray. And uh, you can see here uh, the picture of what it is. It's kind of like this vintage style, kind of country chic. And since I live out in the middle of nowhere, you know, I don't like a lot of this slick city slicker stuff. <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm drawn in by that. But uh, just thought, you know, for parties, whether they're inside the house or outside the house, gatherings, picnics, whatever, you know, you, you want to have lots of drinks out. And instead of just putting a tub or a cooler, you know, this is kind of a uh, very stylish way of putting it out. This does come in a few different colors as I unbox it here. I will tell you, I have the galvanized steel, so it should look just kind of like, uh, you know, a galvanized steel tub, kind of those outdoor like tin tubs that you're probably pretty familiar with, but it does come painted in a couple of colors as well. I believe a red and a blue color, and both of those look really nice. So I just wanted to unbox this for you here and then also set it up. So the first thing we have here is just some packaging material. Um, and I noticed that some people have set these up incorrectly online. So I thought I would just show you the right way to do it, or at least try to discover it. Looks like we have the cart legs here and there are some wheels on one end. And that's really the, the thing that you gotta keep in mind about setting this thing up correctly is that the wheels are on kind of a different side as the handle. And that's where people, I think, get screwed up. Here's the tub itself. Not the biggest tub in the world. You know, you can buy those galvanized steel tubs that are bigger, but uh, you know, I think this one will suffice. And the cool thing is it has a lower tray too. Uh, not very deep, but you could certainly put some ice or something in that tray as well and keep some drinks cool or at least have some drinks there that are queued up even if they're not being iced down so that you could transfer them into the tub up here, which is probably more iced. Here is the handle itself and it looks like we have some kind of cross members. And then we have the rack. I'm not sure if this is the top or the bottom rack. Looks like that might be the top one. That's it. So let's get this thing set up. All right, guys, so I have it all unpacked, uh, and I am going to kind of show this to you because people have complained sometimes that I just fast forward through the setup process. So the first thing is you've got to have everything laid out. There is one bag of screws, which is going to um, it, attach the uh, handle, which is kind of more for show, but it, it actually should, I think, be functional. Um, but the first thing you want to do, it looks like, and there, are, there don't appear to be any instructions anywhere. So you, I was just looking at the picture and I think that's the key. So you have um, the front and the back posts here. And the, the bottom portion is really going to be, you can see the lower cross members on these. And that's just going to hold this lower tray up. You, so that's, that's pretty much all that you need to do on the bottom. It's really this top piece which is going to brace the whole thing together. Now, um, what I want to point out about this top piece is that there is a little vertical post here with some holes. And that's where these handlebars are going to attach. So you want the posts right there with the holes to be opposite of where the wheels are. Just kind of like, like a wheel barrel. <laughs> barrel. You're going to, you would lift up the handle on this side to move it around. Now, if you reverse it, it's pretty easy to undo, it looks like, but, you know, I, at least from some people's comments, they were like, eh, I put it on backwards, whatever. What evs, so they're not going to do anything about it. Now, the next thing that I see is that there are some kind of cross members, and you have this, like, wire-like X, and then you have this flat kind of uh, sheet metal X, and... And so this wire X goes up here and just kind of creates, you know, a vertical stability. Now there are little, four little wing nuts, two on each side, stacked right on top of each other. So you want to take these off. And then same on this side. Okay. And then these, this is just going to slide up over those bolts and then you're going to put the wing nuts back on and this is going to kind of create stability so that it doesn't bend back and forth just like trusses on a bridge just turn these things and then you're just going to I think just finger tighten them all the way up and then as we look at the bottom we also have four little wing nuts 
with little bolts on either side here. Wing nuts off both sides here. And then we're gonna take this piece, cross member, which is gonna create kind of um, twisting torsional rigidity. And we're gonna fit those over the nuts and then the bolts there. And just put these on, I'll tighten them later. And everything has kind of this black, kind of faux brushed finish. I would say it's like, uh, looks like there's kind of a copper or bronze colored, yeah, more like a, a copper tan colored base coat. And then it's covered in like a black paint, paint I think, not powder coat. And then it's just kind of brushed to give it a little bit of a faux kind of weathered antique metal finish kind of give it like a tarnish look but generally it looks like the frame color is primarily black but with a little bit of that copper base coat kind of peeking through the the paint now up here at the top like i said we have the little vertical piece there with a hole in it we have a, a similar hole on the opposite side and this is where we would put the handle bar and then you can see here that the handle bar would be up I think that would probably make the most sense. And then you, there's a little kick out here. So you just put them over the holes and then you want to use the baggie with attached bolts to tighten the whole thing down. Now it does look like they give you an extra bolt in case you lose one, which is kind of nice. Uh, I won't show you all this, but looks like they give you a little screw here. And then you have, you'd have to use an Allen key to tighten it down, which they do include, which is also pretty nice. Um, oh, no, they don't give you an extra screw. They give you a third screw, which I thought was extra. But if you look right here, there's a third hole that kind of holds the handlebar up so it doesn't just kind of keep drooping down, which is brilliant because it seemed a little loose there. So, so no extra screws, just as many as you need. All right, so we've got that in place. Here's what I'm talking about in terms of doing it in the right way. You have the handlebar up here so that if you were to wheel this, you would lift up the back end and the wheels would roll, which they actually do. Uh, they're a little wobbly, but they certainly roll, which could make it nice to move around. And then you also have these very rubber feet here with kind of a big flat bottom. And so that does kind of brace it in place. You don't have to worry about it kind of moving around on you. Now, you have this top tub, which is pretty large, I think, right? That's, that's not a bad size tub, and that just kind of fits in the top there galvanized steel. There's also a bottle opener on there, on the side there, which is pretty, pretty big and impressive, but there's no catch for anything. So if they do open the bottle uh, or pull a bottle top off with it, you're going to want to catch it and put it somewhere. And then on the bottom here, we have a very similar shaped uh, bottom tray with handles. This also looks like it's probably watertight um, and, a, and a similar faux copper band. And this goes on the bottom, so we're just going to sneak it in here like this. And then it just rests on the two bars that go across. Now the bars are a little bit, uh, they do have a, a lower portion here, so the tray will stay generally in the same place, but both of these do have some movement. So you'll want it on a relatively sturdy sp space. Oh. In terms of looks, I think this thing looks pretty good. I think it would make a nice addition to serving drinks or other things. I mean, you could definitely put glasses or something like that. Um, there is a bottle opener here, and this seems like fairly robust. Uh, the galvanized uh, steel looks pretty good. Kind of has like this hammer toned like finish. And uh, I like that, it, it, it definitely looks a little rustic. But um, like I said, you can get it in a couple different colors, which I think would uh, probably make it even a little nicer to match maybe your personal decor. Uh, the handle here, I thought I'd show you, also unscrews. So, these these little ends screw in here and so what i saw in some of the pictures is that what ends up happening is you can just take out this middle dowel and you could put a paper towel roll or something on it you could just drape a towel over it if you wanted to otherwise it does look pretty good just as a handle on the on the back end here and it's certainly usable like i said um, while it doesn't feel like the strongest most robust thing and i would probably I don't know, I'd cringe a little bit about using it to move this thing when it's filled with water and drinks. Uh, it absolutely does let work. You can lift it up and, and see you get the back uh, 
rubber feet off the ground and roll it around. So you can absolutely do that. So I'm pretty impressed with it overall. Now the whole thing is only about 28, 29 inches tall. So you don't have to worry about it being out of the reach of most people at your little event. But I think it makes a nice little addition and looks pretty nice. So uh, the cool thing is you can just run up here, grab a cool beverage and enjoy. So if you want to add a little bit of that country chic style to your next event, check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.